Conditioning with Ryan Shelton. Hi, Ryan. G'day, Rove. How are what you? you? What have you got for us this week? I have got karma this week. Oh. Now, karma is something you know the word, and if you're like 98% of all Australians, you believe karma stands for kites and ravioli make arancini balls. Correct. <laughs> Correct. I am really, really sorry to tell this to you all. But you're wrong. Shit. Karma actually has nothing to do with kites or ravioli, but that's okay. I think I can help. Because if you want to know what karma is really about, watch this. <laughs> Your favourite vase is broken. Ever heard the saying, what goes around comes around, or you get what you give, or that's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it? <laughs> well, all if not some of those sayings are examples of the meaning behind karma. Now, karma is something you've probably heard explained by the great Buddha, or his very talented daughter, Alicia Keys. But unfortunately, they've both done a really shocking job of it. So to clean up their mess, I'll go philosophizationing to ask once and for all, what is the deal with karma? The first thing I want to know is, is karma actually real? I mean, if I do this... Ah. Oh, will that really come back and give me... <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Now, if I don't call for help and just leave him there, will I also be the victim of bad karma? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. So, I guess in a nutshell, karma says that if you do good things, good things will come your way. But if you do bad things, well, you get the idea. I guess it's kind of like you have your own karma scoreboard. Do something good, you get a point. Do something bad, you lose a point. Do something Jim Carrey-ish. Smoking. You lose your dignity and about 500 points. But what would life be like without karma? Well, cameraman, I'm, I'm asking you a question. Oh, you, oh, sorry, you're talking to me. Yes, I'm looking straight at you, yes. No, but I thought you were looking through the lens uh, to the people at home, like you normally do. No, 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 I was looking straight at you. Right, so you're looking through the lens, into the camera, up the eyepiece, to me. Yes, I was looking through the lens and up at you, yes. Well, yes. OK, uh, well, karma, karma. Without karma, I suppose, there wouldn't be any consequences for people's actions. There'd be no punishment for being bad, and no reward for being good. Ah, no reward for being good. Yeah, that's what I just said. I mean, why in the hell should I be good if I'm not being rewarded for it? I learned that the hard way from Santa Claus, who coincidentally has the exact same rules as karma. Flashback. Now, Ryan, Santa hasn't brought you any presents this year because you haven't been a good boy. I thought it because we were Jewish. Yes. Well, it's both. Well, to be honest, it's mainly the Jewish thing. <laughs> I feel like I've learned so much about karma in the past two and a half minutes, but I still haven't figured out how I can get good karma in my life. I need to do something, something important, something that will make a difference, and something that will work as a 13-part TV series for Channel 10. <laughs> something called... Karma Cop. <laughs> You know, a lot of people have been saying that I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing, you know, that I'm playing God and it's, it's not fit. Oh, someone's filming something. He looks a bit Actually, like me, that guy. I mean, <laughs> this? Hey, he just tripped that guy over for no reason. Oh. Well, oh. <laughs> what a shot. See, Ryan got him straight in the face. Hang on. That guy's just looking at him, not even calling for any help. I'm like, come on. Oh. Oh! Yeah, that's right! What goes around, comes around! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, mate. But you've just got to learn that none of us can take karma into our own hands. None of us. Ryan, somebody just walked past and broke your favourite vase. Oh, I'm Ryan Shelton, and somebody just walked past and broke my favourite vase. <laughs> <laughs>